just a quick little sketch. I found this photograph on Pixabay. And I'm just starting with her eye on the right. And I've positioned the nose and the mouth. <laughs> I didn't. I, I'm, I didn't feel like measuring actually. I just put them there. Um, and now I have the main structure of her face to add some tonal values here and there trying to get a spontaneous drawing there's not really much shadow in the in the photograph that I'm using so when you are making videos like these it's better to have some some more shadow actually but I like this photograph I liked her expression so I thought why not And I'm adding these dark areas to have a background for her face, so you get this light against dark face here. Have to watch out that she doesn't look cross-eyed on my drawing. <laughs> And along the way you can add corrections to what you're doing. So I corrected this eye a little bit. So it's, it's not a very big deal that something goes wrong at first sight. You can correct it later. And it gives the drawing an extra structure almost when you correct something. Like an echo of the first attempt. Of, of you know the first attempt is like an echo of, of the final position of a certain uh, detail this is very important to get this right so her face is well structured and I've tried to add some tonal values here and there but I must be careful not to go overboard with that because then it becomes another sort of drawing if you do that too much. I mean, is it a quick sketch or is it a drawing with much tonal value and etc. Then it becomes more like a painterly drawing almost with lots of light and dark. And I want her face to be quite well defined, but I don't want to overdo it. Also because there's not much definition here so if you do add lots of tonal values you have to work very subtle and 
it's just, it's not the kind of drawing for that. It's not a subtle drawing. And now I, I get a nice feeling about her face. It's not really very detailed, but I think that it captures her expression more or less. And I must be careful not to give her a beard here. <laughs> Still working on her expression. And slowly working towards finishing this. It needs some strong accentuations here. paper is 10 by 15 and it's actually sort of color copy paper uh, which gives me the chance to add quite forcefully a pencil graphite on the paper I, I, I press quite hard and the paper doesn't really if I if I would have done this on a regular printer paper it, it, it paper would have broken up a bit you uh, so this is in that respect very special paper and it gives the opportunity to add quite forceful uh, you know hatchings or whatever like this now I want this to be quite forceful. So. Well, at first I wanted this drawing to be an area on the paper, and now I'm, as as I'm 
drawing along, I am more filling the whole paper with tonal values, so it becomes more like a little painting, but then like a little painting. It's not a painting, of course, but I fill up the, the whole paper, I think. I will look up what kind of paper it is and then I put it in the description. And as you can see, I do everything with a simple HB pencil. So I'm not using any other pencil. I, I really like keeping it with at one pencil. That's my personal preference. And I think I'm almost done. making this area darker. <laughs> Her neck as well. And I have to be careful not to make it too smooth over there. But I think it's it's okay. I'm looking for areas to, to add some additions still, but I think I leave it finished there. If I go on, I would ruin it, I think. I would go over the top with adding things. So this is, this is the end result. Thank you for watching.